It was a documentary I saw another because you know I love my documentaries on Netflix. It was another documentary. If I could find a title, I put the title down where it was talking about how um the media portrays black people to be like violent people or people of color or minorities in general to be these violent criminal people and how they actually the media will push that agenda. It was one instance where they they said that it was a, a rapist out there doing some stuff and they put a, a black man's picture up. And they said that that was a person, but the picture of the man, like it wasn't the, the man who actually did it. He wasn't even black. I think he was like white or he was like another, another race or something like, but he wasn't black. And so it's like, but they put those, they put those visuals out there. And so people connect, they, they try to think like they're connecting the dots. They're like, okay, well, like if they saying that black people are like this and that minorities are like that, so then they all are like that. And that's not true, but they push that agenda like the media does push that agenda to try to make certain races and certain minorities out to seem like they're a certain type of way when they actually are not and so like when i tell you like it a lot of this stuff is fake news this coronavirus stuff is crazy like kids can't go to school and and no kind of school like elementary universities like all of that stuff closed down high schools everything is closed down i feel like the the thing that i'm most afraid of is like for me, to me, this is like breeding grounds for a dictatorship. You make the people afraid, then you can control them. If everybody's afraid to leave their house, if everybody's afraid to interact with other people, all you got to do, all you can do is sit in the house and watch the news and listen to what the news is telling you about what's going on, hoping and praying that stuff changes. The, the only reason why I kind of feel like... This would not turn into like uh, something that's going to change the world. It's simply because a lot of people can't go to work. And billionaires count on working class people to help generate their billions. So if people, not, if people can't go to work, people can't make no money. If people can't make no money, billionaires ain't making no money because ain't nobody using the banks. Ain't nobody paying they, ain't nobody, can't nobody pay their bills, can't nobody pay their mortgages, ain't nobody buying no cell phones, ain't nobody buying no shoes, ain't nobody buying nothing. Cause people don't have money for it. So that's the only, that's the only saving grace that I feel like we actually have is the fact that the billionaires, they need the working class people to work so that they could keep generating their billions. Because it's like, okay, well, if ain't nobody working, like if they if they tell everybody, like, all y'all gotta stay home, it's not like that right now. But if they tell people everybody got to stay home, if they shut down the government and tell the, the people that they consider to be like they say, like essential people or essential workers, if they tell them, even them, like, you know, y'all can't go to work. Everything is going to collapse and, and, and we're going to have to depend on these billionaires. But the billionaires can't make money if the working class people ain't working. So to me, I kind of feel like that's going to be our only saving graces because a lot of these billionaires, they got a lot of money in stocks. Stocks are doing bad. They're doing a little better, but they ain't doing like they was doing before coronavirus hit the same. So I really kind of feel like that's going to be our only saving grace is the fact that they need working class people to work. Because... They what they do. They like, we came up with the idea. We need y'all to work so that we can keep money in our pockets. Because you think these old billionaires finna get out here and work with them? No, no. It ain't enough of them. It's not enough of them. So I kind of feel like that's going to be our only saving grace. It's like y'all have to get this under control if y'all legit want people to be able to do stuff. So it's like, otherwise, everybody just finna get sick and die. That's just it. Everybody finna get sick and die. People lose their houses. Okay, if, if people if people can't afford to pay their mortgage and they lose their houses, guess what? The people who who telling them that they that they losing their house, they're gonna lose their houses too. Cause if can't nobody work, everybody finna lose everything. Then it ain't gonna work, it ain't gonna matter about it being on dictatorship, because it's about to be a whole, it's gonna be the purge out here. It's gonna be everybody for themselves. You can't control a bunch of people that don't got nothing to lose. You just can't. You can't and you're not. Because if everybody knows that everybody is on the same plane, then it's always going to be some people that's scratching to get to the top or scratching to be on top. Because it's always people that everybody want to be on top. Everybody want to be worry free. Everybody want to be financially stable and be able to say like, okay, well, you know, I control all of this. So it's, it's going to be like that. That's that's part of the reason why I do feel like they are going to get this get this under control. But kids is out to the six. 
and uh, around these parts uh, luckily spring break's coming up so it's not like they're gonna miss like a whole bunch of school but even still it's a lot of kids that depended on on the food at the schools in order for them to survive luckily people are stepping up but it's like what if this lasts too long and they can't they what if the food's not there no more then what happens crime rate for sure finna go up because people gotta eat people got bills people got things that they still need to do you take the kids off the school, but the parents don't have the funds to put their kids in daycare. They don't have nobody to watch their kids. So now what? It's like, now you can't go to school. Rent due. So what the landlord's going to be like, we still need our rent. But at the same time, the landlords kick everybody out. Now the landlords ain't making no money. It's like a, a disgusting domino effect that could possibly happen, which is why I feel like they're going to get this under control. When they're going to get it under control, I don't know. But I know the stuff they're doing over in Italy is the stuff that I was afraid of happening when this president initially came into office. And that was just like legit starting like a, a dictatorship on some like, y'all gonna listen to me and that's what we gonna do. This whole thing is just, it's just super, it's just mind boggling. It just puts you in a different type of state of mind. It's very panicky for a lot of people, especially people who didn't have, um, money saved to the side or things like that or people who are like you know we still got to survive like what are we supposed to do like what's supposed to happen it's just i can't imagine the type of panic that a lot of people are going through right now like dealing with this or trying to wrap their minds around this or worried about what's gonna happen monday or tuesday because they they're telling us kids go to school monday but then after that no y'all don't go to school today until after the after the they told us kids can't even go back to school to the sixth so it's just like i'm just grateful that I don't have a lot of the worries that a lot of people are going to have with like trying to find somebody to watch their kids or help them with their kids and stuff like that. When they still have, they still have obligations that they have to, they, that they have to deal with. They still have to work. Of course, they still have to make sure that they can maneuver around and they got to do this and they got to do that because everybody is not able to work from home. Everybody doesn't have that option. So I feel like if stuff gets even worse, then yeah, they are going to tell everybody like, you know, okay, nobody do nothing. But over in Italy, you can even come outside. You can't even come outside. Like they're telling you like, no, you, you, you don't need everybody to go, to go to the grocery store with you. You don't need everybody to go to the store. One person, what, 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 what you coming to get? How you feeling? How you doing? They got military people out there, like, just enforcing and telling people, like, you can't do this, you can't do that. Like, how y'all think the world gonna be if y'all walk out, if y'all look outside and there's tanks? Like, legit tanks outside. In 2020. In 2020. Like, this stuff is crazy. Like, it's, it's real for real. They're putting people, I feel like they're purposely pushing this they're pushing the coronavirus to make people afraid. Like, you need to be cautious. You need to protect yourself, yes. But the amount of people that are dying, it is not as many people as the people who are dying from the flu. And it's like, okay, well, they're like, people are dying quicker. Yeah. And that's jacked up. I feel like this is something that is a very, very serious issue. But I feel like if they would have put if they would have put just as much emphasis on the amount of people that get AIDS every year or the amount of people that's getting AIDS on a daily testing positive for HIV and AIDS on a daily basis or the amount of people that's dying from the flu every day or the amount of people that's dying from pneumonia every day. We would have been selling out. They would have been selling out of Lysol. They would have been selling out of Clorox wipes. They would have been selling out of hand sanitizer. They would have been selling out of soap. But it's like. Something like this happened. And this ain't, this is not the first time when I tell you I have to think about. It was not even that long ago where it was something where they were telling everybody stay in the house. Because whatever it was, it was airborne. And they was like, you know, you got to stay in the house. If anybody know what I'm talking about, please put it in the comments down below. But I just kind of feel like this is not, this is not just some, oh, you know, it was an animal that got infected. Nah, son. I do not. In my personal opinion, I do not. I feel like this is a straight up man-made stuff. And if you can make it, you can make it go away. But maybe 
that's the plan. Maybe the plan is to have it here until they get places to a point where enough people done died off. They're telling people like, okay, the older people are, are, are more affected than the younger people. Older people have a better chance of catching it and dying and dying from it. So it's like, what y'all trying to do? Y'all trying to kill off all the old people so it's not so many people on Social Security so y'all don't have to, you know, pay them? Like, I, I don't know. I don't know. What people want to do for money? People will do, a lot of people will do anything for money. Anything for money. They telling people, if, if you can't afford to, to get tested for coronavirus, then you can't get tested. Like, what? So so now y'all y'all targeting people that don't have insurance. Y'all targeting um people who can't afford to work a job that gives them insurance. So people who can't afford to pay for insurance. So now y'all targeting them. So now y'all finna get y'all y'all trying to kill off those people too. Or y'all hoping those people go back to their neighborhoods or y'all y'all target y'all targeting low low lower in, income people. So y'all y'all gonna target the lower income people so then they could be sick and they could take it back today to their neighborhoods. And then pass it around to everybody so then all of them could die. So now y'all don't have to worry about that. Like, what, what, when is it going to stop? It's so many different ways that this coronavirus can be spun where it can, it can affect a certain group of people, a certain class of people, so that there are only certain classes of people left, so that there are only a certain amount of different races left. It's like, y'all don't... When I tell you, like, I sit back... And I think about this stuff, like I've been thinking about this stuff for years and just like legit, like watching this stuff unfold and watching how people walk around and they're not thinking about stuff like this. They're just not thinking about stuff like this. They don't, they don't shut the NBA down. Ain't nobody playing no sports nowhere. Not even just the NBA. You ain't, you ain't what, what, where you going? Nowhere in the house to go watch the news so they could petrify you some more. I don't know because... I was, I was even debating on whether or not to put this video out today, but I'm just like, this, this coronavirus got me feeling some type of way, like for real, for real, for real, for real. It really has me feeling some type of way. I'm like, it's 2020 and stuff like this should not be happening. And then they're like, oh, China, they was like, some part of China came out with, they're like, oh, we have testing that, you know, we have test kits that we could get out. And so, and people are like, uh-uh, nah, we good. So then that's another thing. That's another thing. Did it start in Wuhan, China, so that then people can now have a stigma on Chinese food? Because I tell you, I ain't never seen more videos of Chinese people eating food and, and stuff that, that the average person wouldn't want to eat, like raw food, like eating, biting the heads off a of fish that's still alive, eating rats that still got fur. Like, I ain't never seen so many photos or so many videos of, of people from China you know, or people from different parts of, of China eating eating foods that people wouldn't normally eat in the United States, maybe. So what y'all trying to do? Are y'all trying to put a stigma up against China? Chinese people or people who is because there is China, Japan, all of that. Like y'all trying to y'all trying to go have people feel some type of way about them because we all know they ruling, they ruling. The, the beauty market, they ruin the beauty supply. They ruin everything. Every piece of clothes just about you put on is from China. It's made in China. Makeup, hair, every beauty supply. It's rare when you when you find a, a, a beauty supply that's not owned by a, a Chinese person. Nail shops. So y'all trying to take away the Chinese people power in the U.S.? I don't know. I don't know, you guys. I don't know. Because it's a lot of people that I saw on Facebook was like, nah, son, we're not getting our nails done. Nah, son, we're not eating Chinese food. Nah, son, we're not doing this. We're not doing that. We're not shopping online. We're not, like, a lot of people who are like, you know, everything comes from China. So now people are waking up. It's like, man, everything comes from China. We can't get nothing that's not from China just about. So it's like, is, is this whole coronavirus thing to, to weaken China's economics? Is this is this whole corona thing coming? Is it is it here to, to weaken China's like economy? So that it's like, oh y'all, we don't want nothing y'all have over here because y'all had that coronavirus over there. 
So we don't want nothing from here. Not even doing any research knowing that um, it, it, it lives on different surfaces for a certain amount of time. Like if you if you buy clothes from China, somebody had coronavirus, like I think it's like a couple days or something like that. I'll put a link again. I have a link in the description. I'm putting links for all of this stuff so that y'all could go read it yourself. I'm not pulling this stuff out the sky. This is information that's out here. When I say I spent hours reading up on stuff, like legit looking at online books, because I ain't got no library card. I need a library card so I can actually go and, and read a paperback up here. But like this information is on the internet. It's not it's not hidden. You don't have to go through pages and pages of stuff. It's, it's, it's there. It's in plain sight. But people don't read. We got to start reading. We got to start reading and we got to start reading between the lines. We got to start understanding and, and being aware of what's happening. And seeing that this ain't right. This shouldn't be happening. It just shouldn't be happening. And I also kind of feel some type of way about it because I'm like, everybody's talking about, oh, you know, black people are immune to the coronavirus. Now, I didn't believe that. I did not believe that. But the only black people that they talked about was the two black people from the uh, basketball team, if I'm not mistaken. I haven't really seen no reports about black people uh, getting it. So I'm like, I know for a fact, everybody getting it. It's not no, oh, well, you know, if you're this, like, I know for a fact everybody getting it, but they ain't really putting that information out there. It's like, are y'all not putting that information out there because y'all really want black people to feel like black people can't get it? So then black people out here living like they can't get it, and then they get it? Like, I don't know. It's, th it's some things to think about, y'all, but I just, this was this is my opinion on this whole matter. And... It's scary out here, y'all. Like, scary out here. I'm in the house. Ain't no place to go. Can't do nothing. Ain't nothing to do. So, uh, I will be making some bulk videos. So, y'all see me in the same outfit in another video? No. I'm not wearing the same outfit on a different day. I'm not wearing the same shirt on a different day. I'm bulk recording. I might change my shirt. I might not. I don't know. It depends on how I feel. If I feel like sitting here and doing 17 videos back to back, so that I could be able to upload them and, and do other stuff in my life, then so be it. Click on it. Watch it. You'll like it. You'll like me. Then hit that subscribe button and be like, oh my God, I can't wait for Candace the Aries to come out with another video. Because guess what? They coming. They coming. You know, I might change my scarf out. I don't know. I threw this scarf on because I was doing some stuff today. You know, I'm draping. Y'all see it. Look at my... It's puffy. What? What is time out? Wait till I get a bang. Y'all ain't finna say, y'all ain't finna be able to tell me nothing when I get a bang. It's what it is. So, go ahead and cut it off, you guys. So, as always, this is gonna be it for me. Candace the Aries. Y'all need to go and read. Put all this stuff in my description. And last but not least, man, always remember to enjoy the journey.